<laughs> um, once again, I welcome you back, my amiable sons. Thank you, Father. <laughs> and Soludo, how do you feel having your doctorate in mercy? Wow. <laughs> I feel fulfilled, Your Majesty. Oh, no, 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 I forbid that. This is a family meeting, not some royal cabinet meeting. <laughs> Pardon me, Father, I feel awesome. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> um, Chimaroke, how do you feel returning to your fatherland after so many years? No word can match my joy, no, Mother. Your Majesty, the royal banquet is set now. Aha! I've been waiting for this. <laughs> it's been long, you know. <laughs> um, get the chiefs settled. Hmm? Let them start eating. We'll join them later. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes, uh, I must confess right now that I'm the happiest father in this planet. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Having my son return after so many years of academic sojourn. You, should, uh, you deserve it. You worked for it. <laughs> I think uh, we should join the chiefs. No, um, not now. We need to. <laughs> ah, as usual. <laughs> the account they opened and the businesses were so. Ah, ah, Bobby! That's <laughs> <laughs> good. Yes, son. What? Here, yeah, two cars as my first gift for you. It's great. So, this is a Yes, each is always a habit. No, no, Dad. Don't worry. We are brothers, ain't we? Let him pick anyone he wants. I'm fine with it. Thanks, bro. Well, um, I am not trying to come in between you two. It is hard tradition. You see, Africa culture respect age difference among people, whether at the time of birth is just a second. Eh? There's always credence to senior and junior. We learn every day. Yes. <laughs> yes, um, there is one more thing. There is awesome gift for you too. What could that be, Father? <sighs> Your bride to be will be here soonest. Wow. Yes, Father. beautiful dancing. Oh, Father, that sounds like a lovely idea. Yes, so like I said before, this is Africa. <laughs> Allow your elder brother to speak first. Well, um, I leave the two of you to agree on something. <laughs> right to be. Okay, Your Majesty, that's the palm tree that needs to be cut off. This one there. Because there's a new one coming up. May I know why? There is a new one coming up, Your Majesty. This one no, you don't there. cut it. That Majesty, reminds me of where I come from. Your Majesty, yes. we have a guest. And they are who? Sorochian and Chidi, Your Majesty. Oh, really? Bring them in. 
Bring them up to the garden. Be quick. So, like I said, nobody will cut anything. Palm tree. Okay, how about that, Your Majesty? How about that one? Which one? The Dogonyoro? Don't you know what Dogonyoro is for? It's a herb. So how about this? You have to. Oh my angels! Look at you! <laughs> oh, greetings, your majesty. Greetings. Mm. How greetings, are you? Your mm. You're looking so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you your You're majesty. welcome. You. So, how are your fairies? They are fine. Oh. And how are you? Very well, perfect as ever. <laughs> so beautiful. And you too, looking <laughs> elegant. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Please sit. All right. Come. So tell me, how is High Chief Dodo of Oji Kingdom? He's fine. <laughs> He's very well, Your Majesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Sit. I like your hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you made it where? <laughs> where did you get it? I got it from London. Oh, really? And uh, you? Some place, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do we offer you? Um, water we do, Your Majesty. Water? Yes. We don't just drink water here. You can give me champagne. Oh, really? Yes. Red, white? White, precisely. Okay, you get her champagne, white. And please, get her juice. <laughs> Raw fruit juice. Okay? Right away, Your Majesty. So, I would love to hear about your last trip to UK. Tell me. It was fun. It was amazing. Yeah. Chimaruki. Yes, brother. We are adults capable of taking our own decisions. I know, brother. But you see, we just have to trust our father's decision. I mean, he's always giving us the best in everything. Okay, for your sake, I will. That's my big bro. Um. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Wait. When are you both going to let us in into your little whisper? Mm. Our little secret. <laughs> Sister's privilege. Very uh -huh. odious. <laughs> but I must confess, you both look exquisite. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Ma, it is time to return to your kingdom. The boss specified the time for return. Um, thank you, Ojuku. We'll be with you in a jiffy. Leave us this minute. Now. <laughs> so, let's show you around the other angle. Right. Yeah. Time to get to know ourselves. Of course. <laughs> How dare you run into a car like that? My friend, get your fuel disabled out of the way before I, before I cut to your mother. Get out! Why are you scolding her like that? You and the driver are to blame too. You should have been more careful. Your Highness. Shut up. You are aware we always give us something whenever we're taking this route. Why didn't you remind us earlier? Your Highness, we're actually in a hurry. Then you should apologize to her. Madam, please come. <laughs> Um, he's going to get you something to eat now. Okay? Get money from the driver and give us something. Yes, ma'am. Take. This won't work. Please. Shut up. I'm beginning to hate you. Suruchi, are you alright? How dare you use hate words on your beloved sister? Beloved sister? Really? Not after what happened today in the palace. Chido? What is she saying? Absolutely no idea, Father. I am lost here. Please quit the pretense. You usurp her. Speak once. Speak. I don't know, Father. If I'm not having a firstborn prince, heir to the throne of Umogba kingdom, then nobody gets him. For God's sakes, I am your older sister. I'm supposed to have the older prince. Since you were there, Prince Soludo chose me. And you accepted? Really? Knowing fully whether he is the older prince and I am your older sister. Nobody gets him, nobody is marrying him if I don't have him, and that is final. I see. Father, does this really matter? Calm down, both of you. I shall speak with his majesty. But if the princes insist on their choice, then he stands. Really? Father, I can't believe you spewing this out of your mouth. Excuse me. See?
We had an agreement. Why didn't you keep to it? I was going to do it before the Queen. Came. You were going to do it when? You can't fool me. What is your voice? I saw how you were all over him, forgetting that he is my man. Calm down, Soroj. You're rushing me. Shut your freaking mouth. Rush who? What is in you that I want to rush? You're wasting time. Listen, if you mess my chances of becoming Queen in this kingdom, you will see the beast in me that you have never seen before. I am your older sister. It is my right to become queen in this kingdom and it's my right to get married to the first born prince. Nonsense. Remember the tradition. Hmm. Now that you are back home, sons, it is only proper that I acquaint you with uh, the custom and tradition of Umwagba Kingdom. And um, to reveal to you some secrets as you are my biological children. Yes, um, first and foremost, when the king has gone to join his ancestors, it demands that only his firstborn, the prince, that is permitted to touch his cause. The beads and the crown must be removed by the firstborn prince before the heir that sees the curse. The king must marry a second wife if he, the first wife fails to give him a firstborn son. And if the second why first two he goes on to marry a third one until a wife gives him a son as a firstborn But father, why is it so? This is the tradition bequeathed us by our ancestors, and we don't question their wisdom. Yes, another one. On no account must the crown prince eat in the public. Let me repeat this one. On no account, not in any circumstance, must the crown prince eat in the public. Yes, he will drop and die on the spot. Once again, welcome back. Soludo. Mother. You can now remove the beads. Hide it where no one will see it until the night of your coronation as a new king of Moba Kingdom. Drop the offer.
No! Don't touch it. It is not part of the royalty. But the father instructed that I remove everything. He wouldn't have said so. The necklace has nothing to do with royalty. It is a secret. Best kept between your father and I. Here. Here. Here is mine. So he would be buried with this necklace so special to you? Yes. We vow to die with a secret behind the necklace. You can never see this necklace anywhere in this world. Apart from your father or me. Okay. In that case, mother, I will go with these ones. I happen to meet this stranger who threatens the secret that holds this family together. Yes, I was lucky to come across that very stranger. And you know what? That stranger right now, as we speak, is at my mercy. This is serious. And what could the secret be? Mother wears this strange necklace. She claims it is a secret between her and our late father. And uh, she also says that particular necklace cannot be found elsewhere on the surface of this earth. My name is Zach Orji and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is you. You, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV.